In this section, we are going to learn about some of the important ES6 features in TypeScript. ES6 introduced a lot of new features in JavaScript as well as in TypeScript. And these features are being used extensively these days in JavaScript and TypeScript programming. So we are going to talk about some of those important features. And we are going to start this section by understanding what is destructuring. And we will learn about array destructuring. So the destructuring assignment is a special syntax which was introduced in ES6 version and it allows us to unpack arrays or objects into a bunch of variables. In this section, we will learn how we can use destructuring syntax to unpack elements of an array into a bunch of variables. Let's go to VS Code. Here we have an array called person and this array contains three elements, John, Smith and 28. Now, if we want to assign these values to a variable, we will have to create a variable, for example, fname, and to that, we will access the element of the array using its index, and we will assign it. So, we want to assign, let's say, John to a variable called first name. So, we will access that element like this, and we will assign it to that variable. In the same way, let's say, if we want to assign the second element of this person array to a variable called lname, then we will create that variable. We will access the second element from this person array and we will assign it to this lname variable. In the same way, if I want to assign this value 28 to a variable called age, we can assign it like this. So basically, we are accessing the element of the array using its index and then we are assigning it to a variable. Now here we have only three elements. So assigning it to a variable like this is easy. But let's say if you array contains 10 or 20 elements and you want to assign each element to a variable. In that case, doing it like this is a cumbersome task, right? And this is where the destructuring syntax comes into picture. So what you can do here is instead of doing it like this, you can create some variables. Now to create a variable, we use let or const keyword, right? So here I'm going to use const keyword. And here what we want is we want to assign each element of this array to a variable. So here we basically want to do array destructuring. We want to destructure this array and we want to assign its elements to a variable. And for that, for using the destructuring of array syntax, we use square brackets like this. And to that we assign the array which we want to destructure. In this case, we want to destructure this person array. Now, this person array contains three elements and we want to assign each of those elements to a variable. So, we can specify the variable names inside this square bracket. So, for example, I can say fname, lname and age. So, in this case, these are the variable names and these variables are created using const keyword. So, these are constant variables. If I use let here, in that case also, these variables will be created, but in that case, these variables will not be constant. Okay. Now here I want to use const keyword. So I'll simply use const here. And now what will happen is this John will be assigned to this F name variable. This Smith will be assigned to this L name variable and this 28 will be assigned to this age variable. So based on the index of the variable. So in this syntax, this F name is at zeroth index. So the element at zeroth index from this person array will be assigned to this f name. In the same way, in this array, this l name is at second position. So its index will be 1. So from the person's array, the element which is at index 1, that will be assigned to this l name. And same goes for age. So this age is present at index number 2 in this array. So from the person's array, whichever element is at index 2, that will be assigned to this age variable. So in this case, 28 will be assigned to this age variable. And this is how array destructuring works. Now let's go ahead and let's try to log these variables in the console. So I want to log F name. I want to log L name and I want to log age. Let's save the changes. Let's compile this application by running TSC command. And now you see John Smith and 28 has been logged. Another very important point to note here is that when we do array destructuring, the original array is still intact. It does not get destroyed. Okay, so let me also log the person array. 
Let's save the changes. Let's compile the application again. And you see, the original array is also intact. It has not been destroyed when we are destructuring that array. So remember that array destructuring uses position of array element. Based on the position of the element in the array, it is getting assigned to the variable. Now, what if you only want to create two variables, let's say f name and l name, and you want to access the first element and second element from the array and you want to assign it. In that case, all you have to do is you can simply remove this age variable. So it's not mandatory that you specify the same number of variable names as the number of elements we have in the array, which we are destructuring. That is not required. So let's say here, I want to create two variables, f name and l name. To the f name, I want to assign the first element from the person array. And to the l name, I want to assign the second element of the person array. We can do it like this. Okay. So in that case, this John will be assigned to f name. This Smith will be assigned to l name. And since we don't have any third variable here, this 28 will not get assigned to any variable. Okay. And here, since we have removed age variable, We'll remove it from here and if I save the changes and if we compile the application again and this time I will compile it using watch mode. So here I'll simply say hyphen W. Okay, so now I don't have to recompile it again and again. Okay, so you see now John and Smith is logged. So John was assigned to F name, Smith was assigned to L name and we are also logging the person array. And let's say you want to assign this John to first name but you don't want to create any variable to store the second element of the person array, but you want to have a variable which will store the third element of this person array. How you will do that? For that, so you want to assign this first element, let's say to this F name, then you don't want to assign the second element to any variable. In that case, we can simply use a comma like this and there you don't specify the variable name. And then let's say you want to assign this 28 to a variable called age. So I will specify the age here. Let's log the age here. So what will happen is John will be assigned to F name. Smith, it will not be assigned to any variable because here we are not specifying any variable. And this 28 will be assigned to this age variable. Now why we need to use this extra comma here? Because as we learned in array destructuring, the elements of the array are destructured based on their position. So the first element will be assigned to the first variable the second element will be assigned to the second variable in this array destructuring syntax. Now here, we don't have any variables, so it will not get assigned to any variable. And then the third element of this person array will be assigned to this third element, the third variable in this array destructuring syntax. I hope this point is clear. Now what if you specify the number of variables more than the number of elements we have in the destructuring array? So, for example, in the person array, we have three elements. What if I specify four variables in the array destructuring syntax? In that case, what will happen? Well, in that case, you will not see any error. The first element will still be assigned to first variable. The second element will be assigned to second variable. Third element will be assigned to third variable. And since for the fourth variable, we don't have any element in the person array, this fourth variable will be assigned with the value undefined. So, Let's try to log this gender as well. Okay, if you save the changes, you see for the gender undefined is logged. So since we don't have any element in this array which can be assigned to this gender variable, it will be assigned with the value undefined. Now it is also possible to set a default value for such variables for which we might not get a value. For example here, by default, let's say I want to set the gender to male. So if there is no value, we are receiving for a variable. In that case, we are setting a default value for that. So here from this array destructuring, we are not going to get a value for this gender variable. In that case, let's say we want to set its value to male. So now if we save the changes, you will see that now for the gender, male is being logged. But if we have a gender in the array, let's say female, in that case, this fourth element will be assigned to this fourth variable. So now if I save the changes, you will see female logged here. So if there is a value in the destructured array which can be assigned to a variable, in that case, that value will be assigned to that variable. But if there is no value which can be assigned for that variable, this 
default value will be used for that variable. Okay. So I hope with these examples, now you understand what is array destructuring and how we can destructure an array. For destructuring an array, we use let or const keyword followed by a set of square brackets. Inside that, we specify our variable names and then we use equal to sign and after that we specify which array do we want to destructure. Now keep in mind that in array destructuring syntax, the elements of an array is destructured based on its position. This is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.